This lesson, we're going to be writing up a script in order to access the files that are contained within a folder. We're getting the folder by its ID, and then we're going to be iterating through all of the files that are contained within that folder and outputting the name of those files within the log. So go ahead and open up your Google Apps script. So go to script.google.com, and this is where you can create a new project. Uh, so this project is going to get the files within a folder, files in folder, and give it a name so that you can reference it within your apps that you've created. And so now we want to select all of the current files that are within the main drive app folder. Uh, so let's uh, list files. So we rename the function to list files. And using the drive app, we're going to get all of the files that are currently contained within the folder with this ID. You can get the folder ID and the easiest way to access the folder ID is to go over to your drive.google.com forward slash drive and from there you can navigate to the folder that you want to use and each one of the folders will have a unique ID within the folders ID. So I'm going to select that and copy that and set that up into my application using the ID. And then the next is that we want to select the main folder. So this is where we can use the drive app class and we can get the folder by ID and we already have the ID listed. So this will return back the folder that's this one within an object format. And from here we can loop through and we can get the files. So create another variable called files and there we've got our folder. And because the drive app class is already applied to the folder object, from here we can get the files that are contained within there and using the rounded brackets in order to run and invoke the code. Uh, so let's uh, log out the files into the logger just to make sure that we've got the file objects correctly and then we can loop through them and output the file names and the details of each one of the files that's currently contained within that folder. So run the code and we need to accept the permissions. So the first time you run the code you're going to get the pop-up window to accept permissions as we're going to be accessing the drive app using the Google script, using the Google account that we're creating the script from. So just do a quick review of the permissions, select the account that you want to use in order to access and run the permissions on. And then under advanced, we've got an option down here at the bottom, go to files in folder. So that's going to be naming the application, the Google app script app that we're running. And it's provide you a list of the, once again, the app that we're running, the name of the app. So we're calling it files and folder, the account that we're accessing it as, and then the permissions that we're accepting. You can find out more information about the permissions by clicking the I. And if you ever do want to remove the permissions, revoke the permissions for any one of the apps that you've set on your account, you can go to the myaccount.google.com forward slash permissions. So go ahead and just allow that to run. And we've got the file iterator within the file object. So that means that the files object is ready to be looped through. So we're going to use the while files has next. So while it has a next item, we want to continue the loop until all of the files have been read. And in order to get the file object, we can use the files next. And the next item within the iteration within the files object will be the one that we're going to return back as a file object. And then from here, we can interact with the file. So if we want to get the file values, such as get name, uh, get the ID, we can do that. So we can get the editors, we can get the download URL, we can get the description, the name, the owner, and so on. So if you want to get the download URL, we can list all of those download URLs. So let's run the code. And that's going to give us a listing of the download URL. So essentially allowing us to export. So it provides the path to the file with the ID and the option to download. So when you copy this into the browser, it will automatically set to download that file. So let's go back into the drive and also output the file name. So we can comment out the download URL. 
And there's various different methods to get the various properties of the file. So if you want to just get the name, we can get the name of the file. So if we run that, now we're going to be listing out all of the names of the file. We still have the file iterator there within the log. So if you comment that out, we're going to just get a clean list of the files that are contained within that folder. And also notice that some of the files actually have the same name. And when you go to the files, we do see that they have the same name. So they are actually different files, but they do have the same name within the file. And that's why we're returning back that same name. So this is a way that you can loop through and get all of the current files within a folder.